Okay. <laughs> Pull it together, Brie. Pull it together. Oh, okay. How do I start this video? It's been so long since I've done this. Oh my god. <laughs> hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. Your girl's here with another Fenty review. And as you can tell by my shiny ass lips, guess what your girl got? I got the slip shines. So I was on the fence about this, guys. I was looking at these slip shines like, nah, Re, you ain't getting my money this time. You're not getting my money this round. <laughs> I'm staying strong, but I caved, okay? I'm not complete if I don't have the latest Fenty drop, so I had to do it. I went out to Sephora. Yes, I said it, I went out to Sephora. I was out in that Corona air and I was scared. Y'all, I was out there panicking. I was nervous as hell. People in Sephora were not, I, y'all, if I see one more person wearing their mask underneath their nose, the mask, it goes on your whole nose and your whole lips or nothing at all, okay? If you're gonna have your nose hanging out, just don't wear it. I just wanna do my makeup shopping in peace. It's already, it's already a stretch that I'm out here in public because I'm scared to order these online and fear that I'm not gonna like it once it finally gets here because shipping takes forever. I wanna be able to look at the selection and not feel like your breath it's gonna come touch me. So Sephora, I'm sure you guys can do a little bit better with enforcing your socially distancing um, policies. I decided to pick up three of these and originally I was thinking I wasn't gonna get them, guys. The colors of these just did not call me. Like they weren't, they just weren't doing it for me. And I'm just being honest, y'all know I'm, Listen, y'all know I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like the color selection could have been a little bit better. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a million reviews already about this, but what's a million and one gonna do, huh? It's not gonna hurt you. Sit back and relax, watch the video, let's get started. These retail for $22, I believe. The $22. $22, y'all. I'm sick of Fenty taking my money. It's enough, enough is enough already. Make sure before you guys keep watching this video that you are subscribed, okay, cause it's free. It don't cost a dime to subscribe. And I know you like it here. We all like it here. Let's talk about the packaging. I think that these are super, super cute. This is a nice size, travel friendly, nice and compact. It's not too weighted, but it has a little bit of weight to it. What I would say, if I was gonna give any critique on these, I would have liked if they stuck together the way that the matchsticks do and had a little bit more weight to them. But other than that, no complaints. And I also like that this is like a matte silver and it's not gonna get fingerprints on it. So the packaging is A1. It's real Fenty-like, it's real cute. But honestly, I don't think Fenty ever gets their packaging wrong. So we don't even, we don't even have to talk about that. They never get packaging wrong, period. All right. So I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, up close, personal, me and my ashy lips. Now, we're gonna go ahead and start with quartz candy. First of all, why haven't I heard anybody talking about how good these smell? You know what this smells like? It smells like body lava. That's what it smells like. Why didn't I know? Why Why are the reviews not telling me that this smells like my most, my most prized possession? If I could put body lava on my lips, I would have done that by now. But now you're telling me that, that these slip shines smell like body lava and it took me a whole three weeks to get this? I'm so irritated with myself. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wow. First of all, you know what? I'm pissed. Now I'm mad. I'm freaking pissed. Okay, let me tell you why I'm pissed. Let me tell you why I'm angry. This feels amazing. This feels so good. And it just makes me wanna smell my lips. It smells so good and it feels so, so moist and buttery. 
and soft. It just feels so good. Here it is close up. Up close, you can see pink reflex in it. If you're thinking you're not gonna like this one because it has like glitter in it, it's not enough glitter to make you be like, ooh, mm -mm, too much. It's, it's definitely a very subtle pink glow and it does look like a lip gloss on my lips. Like it doesn't just look like a lip balm. And I really thought that this was just gonna be like a lip balm. And it's it's more than that. It's, it's, it's more than I thought. I wanna add the confetti gloss balm on top to see how it layers because this already does feel pretty thick on its own like it feels like my lips are nicely coated it's like a very nourishing formula but gloss bombs should take it to another level like i want to take it up here you know just i want to kick it up a notch The shade Confetti Gloss Balm has like purple and blue reflex. So these two together, it's really pretty. This gives me really cute everyday, not trying hard vibes. Don't talk to me. If your lips are ashy, stay over there. That's Those are the vibes that this is giving me. Like I could honestly fight myself for buying these so late and not reviewing them right away. So I just wiped off the first shade and now that I've wiped it off, I do still have like a little bit of glitter left over on my lips. Not much, but I just wanted to know it's a little bit of glitter, you know, a little residue here and there. Hey Burke, did you like that shade on me? Lick your lips if you liked it. Oh, you think I can do better? Okay, noted, fine, <laughs> moving on. So now I'm gonna try on makeup break and honestly, I feel like I'm about to look like Tyrone Biggums with this on. Who's Tyrone? I don't, I don't know Tyrone. No, it's you with your crusty ass lips. I'm afraid to wear this without a lip liner, but I'm gonna do it for y'all. For y'all. Okay. Hmm. I feel like the shade is a little bit uneven going on. Like I have to make sure I keep like doing this to make sure it looks even. So here is Makeout Break all by itself. It's definitely not bad on me. I was thinking I was gonna look a little bit more donut lip than this but it's it's cute it's cute i do think that the product is bunching up a little bit along the sides maybe because i put too much on but i feel like if i started talking a lot with this on it would start to gather right up in here and we don't like that look y'all know y'all know that look when you get that little white ring on the inside of your mouth that's never cute now i want to use makeout break with a lip liner because i feel like that's how i would wear this this is color pops liner bff3 Now let's try this one and see how it looks. Oh yeah. That looks really good. I still feel like the product though is bunching up in this area. I don't, mm, y'all. Hold up now. I love how these slip shines feel in my lips, but I am, I'm a little concerned about this area right here. Yeah, cause already while I'm talking, it's like starting to gather up in this area. And I feel like it can be a little bit uneven with the application, especially for this lighter shade. Either way, this lip combo looks good. Brown lip liner, makeout break, the shade is beautiful. We're just concerned about that inner lip situation area, you know? Now I'm moving on to the last shade. And this is Bubble Rum. I always gravitate to shades like this. I think they look so pretty, this like reddish coppery brown. But for some reason, when I wear them, I feel like it makes me look old. I just had to pick up this color because it just looks so pretty. So I hope I like it on.
Mm. Wow. It's pretty. It's definitely very pretty. I don't feel like this one is as thick as Makeout Break. I feel like Makeout Break was thicker. So this one doesn't feel like it's going to bunch up. I don't know. Maybe I don't know if there's a difference in the formula between those two. But the last one I definitely felt like bunching was happening and this one doesn't give me that feeling. This doesn't make me feel like I look mature and old at all. I feel like this makes me look, this is giving me rich vibes. Like I feel real bougie with this shade on. Real bougie. Looking at this shade, there is some micro shimmer in the bullet, but you can't really see it too much when it's on your lips. All right, now I wanna try to doctor this up. I wanna use my unveil stun a lip paint and then layer this on top and then pop makeout break in the middle because I feel like it's going to give me vibes that I need vibes that I want in my heart can I help you? um I have to get diaper stuff for your child. Hey, how y'all doing? So, hey. guys, I, I cut my hair. Just thought y'all should know. I just gotta. Excuse me. Feel violated adding bubble rum on top we'll see how it layers mm. okay and I haven't even like pursed my lips together and it's already blended out cute cute little ombre effect you got going on there little ombre I want to add a little bit of this in the center see if it'll lighten it up Okay. I don't think Makeout Break really did much of the brightening that I thought it was gonna do. It didn't, mm, mm But it's, I mean, it's still cute. It's a cute lip combo. I feel like the more you build this product, the more it's gonna like kinda bunch up in the center. So I would suggest using a thinner layer than what I just used. I kind of want to see what hot chocolate would look like layered on top. Should I just leave it? Why not? We might as well just see. My lips already do feel kind of thick, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this anyway. Yeah, that just gave it an extra little punch, you know, just a little punch punch. It just added a little bit more gloss, a little bit more shine to what was already shining in Poppington. I think that all these products layered together might be a little bit of a problem because as I'm talking right now, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Hold on, let me blot a little bit. Yeah, that's better. I might have gone OD. I might have put a little bit too many lip products on. I might have layered a little bit too much, but hey, that's what we do when you have big lips, you know, you just, you just, you never know when to stop. All right guys, so that wraps it up. These are the three lip colors that I picked up. Will I pick up some more? Mm, I think I'm gonna stick to the three that I have. I'm definitely not returning them because y'all know I'm good for returning products that I don't like. I'm not doing that because I definitely feel like I'm gonna get use out of these and probably a lot of use. Quartz Candy is probably gonna get the most use for me because it's clear and it just has like subtle sparkles. And I can wear this, I can throw it in the bag, not really think too much about what I'm doing. Makeout Break is a shade that I'm gonna be using to layer over other lipsticks. I don't think that I'll wear this one by itself. I'm not really sure I like that light look on my lips. And on top of that, I was a little bit concerned about it bunching in the center of my lips. So I was side eyeing the shade just a little bit. Bubble Rum surprised me. I was really scared that this was not gonna look nice on me, but look. I think if you're brown skin, this is gonna look so pretty. It gives you rich, rich vibes like look at me don't i look like <laughs> please overall i really do like this product but i will say that um i think 
we've seen enough like lipsticks from Fenty at this point. We need lip liners, girl. So stop playing with us. Okay. Like I've said, I'm ready for more. I'm ready for Fenty lip liners. I'm ready for a Fenty brow gel. I just, I'm ready for Fenty blushes that are actually gonna be powder blushes. Like it's just, there's some things that we need to catch up on. So, so get to it. Like chop, chop. Enough of the games already, Rihanna. We're sick of your games. If y'all decide to pick these up or if you already have, let me know what shade you got. And if you're not picking them up, let me know why. What's tea, sis? Let me know in the comments, okay? Make sure before you guys head out, you like, comment, and subscribe because you like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. My lighting is changing every five seconds and I don't like that. I don't like that. My lighting is playing in me. My lighting is playing in me. I wanna fight. I wanna fight. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna fight. Hey, Rihanna. It's me, Brie. Stop taking my money. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Look at these lips. You think there's filler in there? Huh? 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 No. And I just got some of it in my mouth. It tastes like body lava. Well, I don't know what body lava tastes like. I'm not that crazy. But it tastes like the smell of body lava, if you know what I mean.